So, hello, welcome back to another episode, episode of Universal's 4. We have course ring of the World of Universal's mod as Anvilmar. And we are cleaning up our good friends here. The Gurubashi. They are the last step before we finally just have to basically fight uh, light uh, 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 allies. Technically, uh, let's say, let's say uh, members of the Alliance. <laughs> Otherwise, we are running out. We are still not doing fantastic in fighting, especially when we have a penalty, but luckily enough. We have more dwarven bodies to throw at the problem. So... This time we also have the problem that we don't quite get what we want. First of all, let's get rid of their boats. Then we have the Gurubashi completely occupied. And then we might want to ch uh, check over. We lost the boat, it seems. The Gurubashi are very keen on their flagships. Uh, I hate this. Don't care who you are. Get the hell out of here. Let's quickly also just make landfall. So. <laughs> Now we have we have Nasmir and uh, Arkforged. I have no idea who Arkforged is to be honest. Or oh, these guys. You have 35k, you have 34k. But I think none of you really have the numbers to stop a naval invasion that easily. So I feel like I could do that. Wait, did the cult of the damned? No, I no, they just spread some. Uh, okay, uh, for a second I thought they just spread like. Uh, Oh, what is this? Stormwind. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a certain Gilnias doesn't quite like you there. All for it. Okay, let's let's see if it makes sense to send an army over. We do need to get a Ticking Wars go in our hands. We have the Ticking Wars go in our hands. Thank you very much, uh, Stormwind, for this contribution. Architectural development, uh, that means that we need to click something. So, then we can click that. Oh, and admin. Admin, admin, admin. You know what, I'm just gonna do this one again, so that we are fairly far down. Of course, buildings. Okay. <coughs> So, there we go. Let's see if these guys die. Of course, we need to occupy something here. Uh, you go back because the boats are suffering. Togoto Bashi constantly recruits some uh, Stormwindian guys. Cute. So, the question is now if these guys would be strong enough to beat me up. And for safety reasons, I'm just gonna get another army over. Uh, I don't really care. You want money? No, I don't want money. Oh, okay. Not the best position to be in. <coughs> But yeah, as soon as... Uh, I mean, I don't mind beating these guys up. Uh, fell we don't want. Go away. Don't take too kindly to your kind around here. The undead will be accepted for now, because they, uh, there's a reason for them to be here. The other problem is, actually, when this age uh, tips over, I feel like we're gonna immediately go for the next age, to be honest. <laughs> We'll see, we'll see, if that happens. Uh, that's the wrong place. So, you guys just do your thing. Okay, we are doing alright here. We're just gonna wait for the siege to be done then. Maybe Arcforged will, in this time, will stop, se uh, will also be stopping. Who knows? Who 
Wait, where did they spawn this time? Oh, I think we immediately killed them. Could be a thing. These armies are running out of generals, and I'm not... Seems like I'm s not realizing that. So if they constantly just spread down here, I don't mind that at all. Let them. have to Let them have fun. Actually, I did want to check some other stuff. So this one should be a little bit cheap. Oh, well. Not that much cheaper. We do have two more to gain. There's the glow. I mean, I'm mainly here because the global attacker dice roll because it is just such a massive modifier. And I guess a little bit more discipline doesn't hurt either. There we go. <laughs> Stormwind wants to lose another army. Yeah. Gilnias on the hunt. So. Alright. You bastards. Wanna be part of this? Didn't want to be part of this, I guess. Uh, that's 24. Was that your capital? Did I immediately... Yeah, I did. Lovely. Uh, just siege that over here. I guess we could also siege that. This one we can actually put an, an army, a navy out to help with. <coughs> then arc forged. Or they need, just need to become super sad. That's also a thing. Please don't tell me that I can't take everything. There we go. They would say no to that at the moment, but it's only a matter of time until they say yes to that. Okay, you've done that. Time to stop these guys from doing anything. Are you having, are you having struggle to get rid of my... Uh, they just wipe you. Okay. Are you having a struggle with getting rid of my stuff? That's unfortunate. <coughs> that is really unfortunate. It's the same province again? I guess this has the exact same tick like... Uh, <laughs> thingy, that's interesting. Exact same tick rate as the Dwarves at War modifier. That's just funny. So, so two of these. So. Well, the question is that we don't accidentally get crushed here by uh, anything. They're not attacking me, it seems. That's always good a good sign. Of course you lost your goddamn general. Okay, they didn't lose their army. They've just repositioned them. I guess that's the best way to describe that. Uh, you come back down here. Help these guys out, so that this siege is gonna go a bit faster. Jesus Christ, you are melting here, what the fuck? <laughs> You're completely annihilated. I hope you're sieging faster than these guys. The nobles can shut the fuck up. <laughs> I think about that. I don't care how uh, worried you are. Now let's send them over here. As soon as you guys disconnected here, we can make peace with Nasmir. I feel like we're already done anyway, but whatsoever. Let's wait for this guy to come back. And wait, rebel time is rather short. Okay, you're already saying yes to that. Lovely. You guys can come back home. Bring these guys back home. Core that stuff. Okay, now we're also getting over limit. Okay, that's two provinces. Click and click. And that's nowhere. Alright. <coughs> so 
So you, the first thing you're gonna do is repair. <laughs> to be honest, I also get rid of this light ship here. But I guess the next thing on the list is Stormwind. And I did say maybe the stuff here. You're all like uh, Sandala stuff, right? Yes, we would have to fight Sandala. This is also Sandala. This is also Sandala. Okay, so basically everything here is... No, this one is something else, but that doesn't look like it's difficult to fight. Uh, same with you. Okay, so basically just a decent fight against Sandala. Navy-wise, you look pretty decent, but we'll see when we actually deal with the stuff over here. Because the question is, I don't have a reason to attack you. You have a l oh, you have a lot of allies, but they need to come over, so that's always a, a bright thing. At least we don't have to fight anything silly anymore. Now we just have Stormwind. This is also yeah, this is over. This is over extension, but not by much. <coughs> now we just have. Governing capacity and other stuff to deal with. The usual issues. Do need a bit more here, but we'll see when it comes around. We can have another army and leader. Of course, we do have some rebels popping up. Surprisingly enough, barely any. <laughs> That is rather limited. Stop. So... Trouble in Azeroth. That means that we can immediately do this. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. Don't want any more undead damned nonsense. But at least we should nearly have everything here. Yeah. And of course Skillful Ruler is a little bit behind. But I guess we actually are now in need of admin stuff. So... I'm not sure if these events uh, pop up... ...on their own. Or if, if basically... Uh, wait, that's the wrong guy. Basically saying... ...that the next stage comes around when these uh, things have occurred. Maybe that needed this age to start before it can e it can even trigger because we currently don't see anything immediately changing. Who knows? Ah, uh, we're gonna have this one. Oi! Fuck off! <laughs> no, you don't. No, you fucking don't get. Put that back. Put it back where you found it, you bastard. <coughs> Alright, do we want to now do this? It makes sense that we do it. I don't mind putting this to level 3. We have full control over here. I mean, I guess we could at least col collect, right? One of these who is not doing really anything. What does it matter? <laughs> I'm filthy rich. <laughs> okay. I gladly just throw money at this issue. It's a tradition of mine. Uh, let's click all of this stuff. There's not idea crew popping up. What's this? Waterfall lighthouse. Clone your range. I mean, I guess we can't really use it at the moment, because it's in no state. But still... Still gonna use that. So... Now that we've done all of that, and this as well. One of these needs extra. Then we can do you. This makes no sense. Three of these. And I guess these just need upgrades. Alright. 
Which place now got in the center of... Oh, this one. This is also a mine. And then we start with the usual stuff. Get rid of that voodoo. <coughs> we have 30 more years to uh, imperialism. But I think we're gonna probably fight before that. I guess we could just now uh, do this, get this stuff done as well. And we'll see what, uh, uh, what what we can get out of this here. <coughs> One thing that I can clearly do is uh, put armies around here. And then delete, systematically delete whoever is uh, is uh, 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 brave enough to ca uh, jump over. We have this one to do and this one to do. The rest surround Stormwind. Just for fun though. Like, no, there's no aggression planned or anything. <coughs> We're just having a bit of banter here. So, so, just don't need to be all standing all, uh, all down here. <coughs> I can also tell that these fights against Stormwind and the other Light Nations is gonna take a lo uh, quite some time. So, and then just the last one, there we go. Now, something else that I wanted to do was accept Daladan, right? Yeah. <coughs> so we have done we have done that. I'm actually not sure what all kinds of admin uh, bonuses I already have, to be honest. But we also are gonna get a cultural simulation soon enough. We just slurp up everything that other cultures have and say that it's ours, <laughs> basically, right? This is how this works. You know, so, well, not, I guess British Museum kind of style. <laughs> you know, that's just, that's just how it works. Uh, uh, Back in the day. Then we can get this with the next tick. And we get our extra discipline and global attacker dice roll bonus. So, seems like Gilnias is also now integrated. Welcome. Let's get rid of boats and armies that you have. All of this nonsense. Look at this. What is this? Destroy it. We have a few more things to organize here. Hmm, there's a naval barracks, we might as well also remove that. Nope. There was more. I remember more. We also need to accept Gilnian, it seems. So this one has nothing. There is one more. We have no vessels now, which is also sad. Uh, da, 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 this stuff. This stuff. <coughs> it's actually ridiculous. How handy this uh, has come into the... Uh, Construction time negation. <laughs> Let's call it what it is. <laughs> we said enough of removing light nations as well, which makes our defend of the faith weaker. But we have all of this stuff in, and this gives us a few things when we. Oh, that, yeah, there is some good stuff here. Uh, we don't have currently. Yeah, we need to state this stuff before we can integrate it. <coughs> I don't have any stability. I keep forgetting that. I want to increase this. 
Are we also running out of this stuff here? No worries. Well, it was. Oh, this is all the same symbol. Okay. But it doesn't matter anyway, because. We get this stuff here. Now, one more thing that we're gonna do when we have the points for it is start cleaning all of this stuff up. So we need a bunch of points. <coughs> and then we can start the investigation. We did want to change a few things, I think like the magic we wanted to change and the government reform stuff. Because it has not been too useful. But that will all come around. And we can also start centralizing stuff if we wanted. Right? This is just expanded infrastructure. How much does this do again? It doesn't tell me until I have the option to. Thanks. At least you're having fun, right? <coughs> well then. Let's wait for this to be at 50, so we can get started. And then we spend points elsewhere. Oh, there we go. The game wants us to get stability back. I don't mind at all. Is there an admin thingy? I mean, I guess th there's no Diplo uh, idea group that gives us any uh, leeway here. I mean, I assume we're not gonna have to look at the neighbor stuff to see that. Station, manpower, separatism. Nope, there's nothing here. Influence should also not do anything. Would also be a little bit weird. Yeah, and spy stuff also doesn't do what I want. I really have no reason to take any more Diplo stuff. But that's also good, because Diplo we have to throw elsewhere. Uh, admin, let's continue on. There we go. And there we go. And we might as well do another one. Well, you know what? Just punch it all the way down. We don't have much to do at the moment anyway. So... Okay. Quick building update. <coughs> Shouldn't hurt either. And we're probably gonna punch this one up again. This, of course, delays stuff a little bit. You are getting old enough. Trading and slaves! Woohoo! There we go. Alright, let's get started. Administrative. We have the. Uh, other stuff reduction. I think we are just gonna take the... Oh, we don't even have statewide governing cost. Well, then we're gonna take governing capacity modifier, right? That should be more efficient. Yeah, we don't have that many percentages. Boop. More briefing room. We can state a lot more stuff. Which also means that we can s in the, uh, uh, accept Gilnian as a culture. Yeah, but still. We are not quite done yet. Why do we even have the option to get Naga monuments? I don't know. Kind of curious what all kind of modifiers is currently uh, not in our pocket. I will eventually find this. Oh, there we go. See? Stability full. Didn't even need to do anything. So, Eastern Kingdoms, no question. Let's get this started. So, technically speaking, currently this one we would have as soon as this is stated. This is just colonial range, doesn't matter. This one. And also needs to be stated, prestige decay and corruption is also alright. There, fire damage received and shock damage received, amazing. Military cost, decent. Infantry combat ability, also quite nice. 
we have Jehiran's point, which gives us trade efficiency. We have another national uh, manpower modifier. This one we already have. This one gives us manpower recovery speed. This one would give us infantry fire. Yep, yep. This one gives us development cost reduction. So many modifiers. There are not a fire damage and shock damage received. We actually should then be fairly ridiculous, shouldn't we? National supply modifier. Naval force limit. Admin tech and idea cost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's no discussion about that. This is just the best thing to do. Uh, now we don't even know how long this takes. Oh, wait, Eastern Heritage? No, this is something else. Uh, where are you, Gilnian? Gilnian. We accept all the humans. <coughs> da, 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 and of course, there's more to come, obviously. Uh, everything needs to be stated as well. There is no question about that. There we go. Took a second for the game to realize that we're doing that. Good. So, let's take a break. I mean, guild labor, no good discussion. That stays. Elitism stays. Strong royal court. I don't think we want any of these. Strong nobility. This reduced absolutism by 10 or 20. Yeah, well, let's keep it that way at the moment. This one was pretty clear. Protectionism, I think, was also pretty clear. Yeah. Invasion deterrence. We might actually want to go aggressive here. Yeah. I think we want to be a little bit more aggressive on this one. Talking about that. Oh, let's just get this navy full. Now we need to wait again. We know that we were at naval stuff. The Grand Armada we changed. Consolidation of power I think is also alright. We are not wanting to change anything here. The Archic Rule I think was also alright. Hmm. Servant of the Realm. I mean, we did establish that we are this is not working, right? We are not getting any points from Kesto Kest Bronzefest. So that basically is something that we would like to change. Yeah. The Magical Society we also want to change towards... Uh, I mean, we don't need innovativeness. State religion was alright. Well, let's quickly change th this one first. As long as I'm aware of it. The Archic Rule, I would carry over to Servant of the Realm. Yeah. Nine. Let's wait a monthly tick, but this should still be nine. Was is it the base value that got to changed? No, still the same. Our government capacity actually just increased for some reason. I guess yeah, sure, thanks. <coughs> I see. Plenty more stuff to uh, integrate. We're actually getting towards another army soon. And this just catches up here. Yeah. There's no argument about that. And no worries, this staffing is also gonna come around soon. We have eight years until this stuff happens. But I guess we're also gonna end this episode here anyway. So I go always like subscribe and again. I guess see you guys next episode. Bye!